So it'd be in some sort of, uh, you know, you hear him do it in hesitation blues, but sort of any uh, C blues it would work in. So it'd be like. Okay, so hopefully our wide angle here gets a nice angle on this hand and this too. And uh, hopefully this guy over here stays in focus for us. Uh, and I will talk it out as we go through as well. So it's going to be over our five chord. So in the key of C, we're going to our G, or a G7 sort of thing, and it's going to do this little... Um, so if we're in our you know, alternate bass thing, or even just our static bass thing, doing our quarter notes, it's going to be to our G, So we're going G, hitting the low one, and then hitting the high E with the G note on top. So now we're taking this chord off. Uh, I'm squeezing the second fret of the high E with the A string. So and then squeeze these together, A and an F sharp. And then I'm playing an F. Moving my finger down to the first fret, obviously. So. And now I'm putting my middle finger on the second fret of the uh, A string, getting me a B note here. So our chord shapes are basically, and then just single A with the high F sharp, and then a B here with our F on top. Play my B, and then I play this D note on the B string, and I slide it up to this E flat, and I play the E against it to kind of give it that bluesy, uh, you know, dissonant thing. So so far we have, and that's actually the whole thing. And then right back to my one chord. So. gives you a nice little turnaround. Um, I, uh, very Yorma-esque. Uh, I think maybe I heard him do something more in um, Hesitation Blues when he was going back to uh, an A minor, which also works. It was like a... That sort of thing, but I love it as sort of a anything in C turnaround. Cool. All right. Well, I hope it gets you a somewhat idea of the...